welcome to ng math channel today i would like to discuss a question from pair of linear equations the question is check the given system of equations are consistent or not solve them graphically i have taken two equations those are 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 3x minus y is equal to 7 as we know linear equations in two variables are one variable represent a straight line to draw a straight line we need at least two points so before going to the graph let us see whether the given equations are consistent or not see <coughs> to see the to verify the consistency you have to write the coefficients of x and coefficients of y let us go for the solution i don't want to rewrite again i would like to take uh, these two equations as this because they are of the standard form a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 sometimes we will take uh, all the coefficients on lhs and rhs we kept zero but uh, you can take in this form also here what is the ratio of x coefficients that is a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 3 what is the ratio of y coefficients b1 by b2 is equal to 3 by minus 1 and c1 by c2 that is ratio of constants 1 by 7 when we look at the ratios of x coefficients and y coefficients they are not equal clearly if two ratios are equal or not you can verify through the cross multiplication here 3 into 3 9 2 into minus 1 minus 1 so clearly ratio of x coefficient 7 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 which implies they are consistent if these two ratios are not equal the equations are consistent the given system of equations are consistent means they have solution they have solution that to unique solution they would have only one solution what is that solution how to find it means here you are asked to find the solution by the graph that's why i would like to take the points to draw the graph first uh, straight line is 2x Plus three y is equal to one. How to get the point means? First of all, you have to write the equation y as subject. Y as subject means you have to keep y in LHS alone. So let us shift the x term into RHS. Then three y is equal to one minus two x. Then y is equal to one minus two x by three. x y and uh, x y hundred pay see two points are enough but uh, better to take three to three solutions to draw the straight line perfectly here one would have to think that whatever the x value you can take. By substituting x value, you should get the numerator, which should be divisible by three. To get this uh, integral value, you have to do some trial and errors. First, suppose if I substitute zero there, y is equal to one minus two times zero over three. That is two times zero zero one by three. For zero, it is one by three. Which cannot help you to plot on the graph, so it, it belongs to Q. It is not Z. That's why let us make one more trial. That is uh, in the place of uh, x. Let us substitute uh, two. One minus two times two over three. That is one minus four by three. That is equal to one minus four minus three by three. That is equal to minus one. 
by substituting x value to you are getting corresponding y value minus 1. So, if you take x is equal to 2, corresponding y value is minus 1, the solution is 2 minus 1. These two are integral values, you can plot them easily on the graph. This is how you will get the solution for this equation. If you can find one solution, it is better, you can easily write uh, too many solutions very easily. The trick is, you have to increase the x value by this denominator, that is 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 3, 8. Then, what is x coefficient here? Minus 2. This y value automatically decreases by minus 2. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 5. 5 minus 3, 8 minus 5. You may get doubts. Let us verify that one. y is equal to 1 minus 2 times. Let us substitute 5 over 3 that is 1 minus 10 by 3 that is minus 9 by 3 it is equal to minus 3 here once again I would like to explain if you are able to find a solution with integral values very easy to write the other two solutions or you can write any infinite number of solutions you have to increase the x value by the y coefficient that is 3 that is 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 3, 11, like that. And then corresponding y value is increased or decreased by x coefficient. As x coefficient is minus 2, here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 3, minus 2, minus 5. Let us see for the second equation 3x minus 1y is equal to 7. And I would like to write uh, again y as subject. See y coefficient is negative, better to transpose y term and bring this constant in LHS, 3x minus 7 is equal to 1y, that is y is equal to 3 times x minus 7. As there is no denominator, you can write any number of solutions very easily. See, it is become difficult if you know any denominator over here now you can substitute any x value take 0 3 times 0 0 minus 7 minus 7 take 1 take 2 you can take any integral value 3 1 0 3 minus 7 minus 4 next 3 to 6 6 minus 7 minus 1 0 minus 7 1 minus 4 2 minus 1 so, for each of the equation, we have taken 3, 3 points. Now, our next uh, duty is to plot these points on the graph and after uh, drawing those straight lines, they would intersect at one point, that is our solution. Let us go for that one. Now, I have taken the, the coordinate plane. There on x axis the scale is uh, 1 unit and uh, on y axis also the scale is I have taken 1 unit because here that scale is appropriate. Now let us plot the points 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, let it be somewhere here. Next 5 minus 3, 5 minus 3. 8 minus 5, 8 minus 5, it will go like that, next uh, let us uh, draw the second line, this line is 2x plus 3y is equal to 1, 2 minus 1, again the same point, 1 minus 4, 1 minus 4, next uh, 2 minus 1, 0 minus 7, 0 minus 7. So this looks like 
we will go like this and both lines are intersecting at uh, 2 minus 1 this 2 minus 1 is obviously our answer therefore both lines that is 3x minus y is equal to 7 and 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 both are intersecting at 2 minus 1 therefore the solution of given pair of equations is xy is equal to 2 minus 1. That's all. Thank you.